and that's basically pulled tight onto the frame and um, what we have done then is we've basically fabricated some steel brackets here Let me see it a little bit better perhaps and uh, these guys here um, are set, are basically Helded onto the steel steel brackets here. Uh, go down to the two original um, mounting points on each side. There's one there, and the the other one over here. I had to do a little bit differently. I don't know if I can get the camera in here now, but I'll try. Um, this is basically fabricated from a piece of uh, 40 by 40 box section steel that the brackets are then attached to which go to the steel band you can see there probably I hope um, the, the other one is probably a little bit hidden in there uh, the, the purpose behind that is because it is steering arm uh, it comes up from the steering rack here um, at a fairly, here we go, yeah, and it comes up from the steering rack at a fairly severe angle. Uh, so we had to fabricate the bracket um, in such a way that it would avoid contacting the steering arm. Uh, so that's basically the motor and the uh, electric drivetrain fully installed. You can see everything is quite solid here, but there's still a little bit of play in these guys, which is ex exactly what we're trying to achieve. And um, I've, I have also installed the brake vacuum system here, as we did a previous uh, video on that. Um, switch pump and our drink bottle reservoir here has been secured down to the plate with two large uh, jubilee clips. We've put a little bit of a bush under the clips just to stop them digging into the tank because that's aluminium. And as we can see here now we're just plumbed into the brake vacuum servo. The little uh, black piece of, piece of plastic uh, that you can see there and get a zoom on that. That's actually a non return valve um, that stops the vacuum uh, from coming back out of the, of the uh, vacuum servo. Uh, so that's all set up. It's perfect. We've got plenty of uh, vacuum to to apply the brakes and we get about two to three pumps um, from this canister here so that's a good uh, backup in case the pump failed at any stage. Now uh, it could bring the car to a, to a stop uh, with servo assistance. Um, so that's pretty much all that we've done inside the engine bay. Uh, we'll come along the side here now. And um, I've taken out the fuel filler and all of the other pipe work and we have installed a, a charging point here um, basically where the fuel filler had been um, let's get rid of that inspection amp there for a second and uh, as you can see there the fuel filler uh, closes over on that a hundred percent and it's basically fabricated from a, ple uh, from a piece of 6mm aluminium uh, that was drilled out to take a standard 32 amp single phase uh, plug that we cut down uh, so that it would fit inside the body uh, the, well the kind of the frame area there that, that had been taken up by the by the old uh, fuel filler and um, it's just uh, stepped back in there um, 
with some of these pieces of stainless steel here just to uh, push this guy back in so, so that he can close the uh, filler door there and I just have to get another bolt to go in here I didn't have a a fourth bolt uh, that would fit in uh, so that's our that's our I, su uh, I, su I suppose fuel filler point um, and as we can see there the door closes over fine on that and um, so that's about it in terms of progress at the minute um, gonna have to start out the power steering uh, fairly soon on this score uh, so that'll be the next part of the plan